firstly take us through what drove market sentiments today. Uh, the market was rather flat today, not uh, much activity on it. Uh, Tenor was around 68 million. Uh, the market did go up. Uh, it closed at 3,142 3, points, um, still be, 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 uh, below its 200-day moving average. So today was rather a flat market with uh, less activity in it. Which stocks are you looking at for this week? For the week ahead, again, we people are still focusing on uh, Barclays. There's been a lot of noise on Barclays. I don't know whether people have some information on it, uh, but people are expecting maybe their results to be released sometime this week. Then we normally have our usual suspect that at least have activity on it and some price movement, which is your East Africa breweries, your equity bank, your KCB, and your Safaricom. Uh, so in the week ahead, again, people are still taking positions due to the full year that is about to come for most counters. So I guess it's a, it's a matter of picking out the companies that you think have the best dividend yield and will be stable even after they declare or after they go ex-div. And Barclays coming out with the results. What's market expecting there? It's a bit of mixed sentiments because if you see the, the, the way media is bringing it out, it seems like they might have done well, but historically, Barclays normally, as much as they're the highest um, performer and highest earners, but actually in the financial sector, their results are normally rather flat. It's a 3% it's a here, a 6% there, and really I don't think it will change for this quarter. Bank of Africa came out with results showing 32% profit. What are some of the reasons behind that? Again, um, increased interest income for them. They, they, their strategy has been rather a bit different from other banks. They have not gone out to, to dish out loans. They've remained on their strategy on treasuries uh, and uh, fixed income securities. Though their revenue from, fixed, uh, from the Forex side also has reduced in tandem with every other bank. So I guess it's just a good strategy and plan and harvesting well from their treasury side. We're seeing a scenario where the bourse opened flat, although it showed some marginal gains. How do you expect the bourse to trade through the week? I guess of the main focus will be trying to watch the, the current resistance level, which is the 200-day exponential moving average, which is at 31.49, actually just eight points above the current level right now. What we'd expect to see is if the market breaks through there, then um, you find the current average directional movement line is at 21, which suggests a trend. But we need to find out whether it will break that line. If it breaks that line, then we are in for a bit of a bullish run to the end of the year. But if it bounces off there again, it will trade in between the 30-79% mark to the 31-49 uh, points mark. Now, what, what could happen in the bourse or what's the market expecting to happen on the bourse that could change the outlook that you've just given us? I guess it's an issue of uh, good results from whatever companies that haven't given out their third uh, quarter results, uh, namely again Barclays. Uh, I guess it will determine which direction the market will go. And the, just the general economic uh, outlook that people will have during the week. Any news that will dent that renewed hope in some economic recovery sometime next year, we'll see the market again revert going downwards.